You've heard about the subconscious mind and subconscious programming time and time again, because the truth is this one specific thing right here is what holds the key to transformation. So not only is this just important, it's necessary to change your life and achieve the goals and results that you're looking for. And now that you know this, you have the advantage because it starts from within you. When you know how to reprogram your brain and rewire it with the circumstances and situations that you want, it's then that you can actually begin to manifest it. And in this video, I am going to show you exactly what to do with a simple and easy exercise to reprogram your subconscious mind to start achieving results in 60 seconds or less. Doing this exercise immediately gets you into the energy of receiving and aligns you with the expectations that you need to see things differently. I am so excited to share this with you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And really quickly, before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below if you are ready to learn how to use this exercise. Now, let me show you what to do. So whether or not you realize it, every change in your life, if you really examine it, started from a change within you first. A change in your thought patterns or behaviors and a willingness to try something new and change the way that you see something. I mean, really look at every big accomplishment or change that you've ever made and notice the shift that happened that shift that started within. These are honestly some of my favorite things to look back on because it's not always obvious in the moment, but when you look back, you can see it so clearly and look back almost with a powerful nostalgia. Every big change started with you. So this exercise is really designed to help initiate that internal change and shift in your mind first so that it can then show up in your reality. Now let's get into the exercise and how to do it. So the first thing you are going to do is set the intention of what you want and more importantly, why you want it. You don't want something for no reason. Choose and decide consciously what this thing or experience will provide for you. And once you get clear on that, you are now going to trick and reprogram your mind into thinking that what you want is here now by using your senses. Manifesting should be a full body experience. It's really just feeling it from the inside out until it becomes part of your reality. I mean, that's super oversimplified, but that's the basic explanation of what you're about to do in this exercise. So you have your intention of what you want to manifest and why you want to manifest it. And now you're going to begin to stack statements and you can do this in so many different ways. One of the ways that I like to use this is in front of a mirror because you are looking at yourself and you can create a really real experience for yourself while looking at you. But you can also do this in silence with your eyes closed. You can do this in a meditative state. You can do this through writing or journaling. Do what works best for you as always. But you are going to start with a certainty statement. I am certain that blank. Insert whatever it is that you're manifesting right in that space. I am certain that I have this brand new car. I am certain that I have this type of relationship. I am certain that I earn this much per year. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to make an, a certainty statement with I am certain followed by what you're manifesting. You get the idea. So your first statement is your certainty statement of I am certain blank. Then you're going to add a statement that infuses that certainty with feeling. I feel blank. So I am certain that blank and I feel blank. For example, let's say that you're manifesting money. Your first certainty statement would be something like, I am certain that I make blank per year, however much you're manifesting. Then you would say, I feel so relieved and free and excited knowing that I can spend freely. That's just an example that was a little bit long of a feeling statement, but you get the idea. See what it feels like to you if you were certain that you had that thing but just make sure you use the certainty statement, then the feeling statement. So I am certain blank, I feel blank. 
And from there, you are going to stack with your senses. I promise this is easier said than done. So here is what you're going to do. You wanna bring the experience not only into your mind, but into your physical body as well. How would it feel? How would it smell, taste, sound? And what way can you create the realest experience for yourself, but through statements? So you have your certainty statement, then your feeling statement, and this is the fun part where you start to bring in your senses and really just let yourself go. You can kind of think of this very similar to um, what I think Abraham Hicks does with their rampages, which is essentially just choosing a point of focus and allowing it to build and grow. There's no right or wrong. But let me give you an example and sort of just do my own thing so you can get the idea of where I'm going with this. So for the example of money again. So if we're still sticking with that example of money, then you would say, I am certain that I make blank per year. I feel so relieved and free and excited knowing that I can spend freely and I'm gonna build. Everything just feels so simple and easy. I can afford to buy and experience whatever I want. Everything is just available to me. Money started flowing in in all sorts of ways, both expected and unexpected. I just feel so lucky all the time. I'm just so grateful that this gets to be my life. Money just feels so easy for me. And I can book that vacation to that tropical island and feel that warm sand on my skin without a care in the world. Taking in the salty ocean breeze and giving myself space to just feel it all. See how I kind of went from like the money to the feeling to the things I wanted to do with the money, like the vacation and then creating that experience. You can let yourself just go, see where you go, see where your mind and your feelings and your senses take you. Let it be enjoyable, go as long as you want to, but don't do it where you're overthinking it and you're like, I should say this, that didn't sound right, I should say this. No, let it be free, let it be fun, let it feel flowy, let it feel good. Let it build and build and build until you're creating this kind of avalanche of elevated vibrations within you. But what you are doing is putting together statements in a way that feels real and feels like it's something that's building within you. You're creating a very real experience for yourself. When it comes to subconscious programming, your mind will then start to accept these feelings and experiences as true. And in turn, that's what you will start to experience. Feed your mind what you want the results of. Again, feed your mind what you want the results of. If you want a different experience than what you're currently experiencing, you have to shift something in your brain first. You have to change your mind about it. You have to see what you want as possible and inevitable and obvious. And doing this exercise will really help you make that shift very easily. This should feel really fun and good. I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And for more information about me, my meditations, my programs, and more, you can visit my website, mkmagicmindset.com. And you can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok at mkmagicmindset. I will see you in the next one.